Schwing. Hello and welcome to another episode of Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and today we are playing Banished. Banished is a city building strategy game by Shining Rock Software. In the game, you start with a group of families who have presumably been banished from civilization. Your job is to help them survive by assigning them tasks to get food, clothing, tools, and raw resources. Everything in the game is interconnected, and so a single mistake can doom the entire population. So let's get started. I'm going to click New, and uh, on the New screen, you, you can randomize your town name and just pick whatever kind of fits. How about Henridge? That sounds good to me. You can choose your map seed, uh, typing it in, or you can randomly, randomly assign it. The next thing we have are the settings for the world. We have terrain type, which I'm going to choose valleys. You have valleys or mountains. Valleys allows more room to expand. Terrain size is large. Again, more room to expand. Uh, I like to have those as valleys and large because I, I don't like to have my population uh, limited. Uh, climate is harsh. Uh, you can have mild, fair, or harsh. Harsh just means the winters are going to be a lot colder. Uh, disasters on means we can have tornadoes and fires and pestis, uh, pests and disease and I already said disease yes lots of disease and starting conditions is easy medium or hard on easy you get like a storage barn and uh, stockpiles and things like that on hard you get a cart a tiny little cart we're gonna push okay this sounds good and uh, it's gonna randomly generate our world and uh, I don't know what it's going to look like. You don't know what it's going to look like. But we're going to figure out what it's going to look like in about five seconds. And as soon as a game starts, one thing you want to do as soon as the game starts is pause the game with the space bar button. So as soon as we load in here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to freeze. Come on. Come on. Come on. Load it up. Let's go. This is taking a while. It doesn't usually take that long. There we go. It must be uh, the large world. So the first thing I'm going to do is I pause the game. I'm going to zoom all the way out just to get a lay of the land, see what's around in the area. Uh, it looks kind of interesting. Um, it always does. I'm going to go ahead and open tools and reports, and I'm going to choose the first five buttons there will let me open all my really important window panes that will tell me all the things that are happening around the world. Or at least around my village. And I'm going to place these the way I normally place them. Because I've gotten, gotten kind of used to it. I've seen other people play this game. They, it seems like everyone has a different layout. Uh, and this is mine. Congratulations. Enjoy. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to choose a place to lay out our kind of initial starting area. And... Just taking a look at the map at the top right, I see that there's three lakes. One's nearby to the north. Um, there's a nice area up here that'll make a nice little uh, starting point. There's also this area down here. And then there's also um, kind of this wide open area over here. And this this wide open area to the southeast of us looks like a great place to put kind of like our market um, set up. Uh, I hate being that far away from the major river, but it, it, it'll work out fine. We'll have uh, vendors take it over there. Anyway, I'm, I'm really skipping ahead. Um, I'm going to start, I believe, with having... Uh, I want to put the hunter's cabin... Well, we're going to have multiple hunter's cabins. So I guess we'll, we'll start up here at the north with a little gatherer's hut and woodcutter set up and uh, forester. And we'll just slowly expand towards the, the market area. I think that'll work just fine. Um, so first things first, I'm going to look on my menus down here. And I'm going to choose a Forester as my first building. And that'll be in this button here. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to try to get a circle around as many of the trees, as many of the tree, a treeable area. <laughs> as, as much of the plantable area as I can. And uh, it's not going to matter if I have a, a few left out here or there. But uh, that looks just about right. There. I'm going to throw a road right in front of that. Roads are good for trans uh, getting your uh, uh, villagers to move around a lot faster, things like that. And beside that, I'm going to throw a uh, gatherer's hut. And the forester will replant all the trees in this area. And they'll, they'll even cut them down once they get mature if we want them to. We're going to not have them cut the trees down. Because we want to use the trees to grow herbs and, and things in, in the area. Uh, we're going to have the gatherer's hut gather food for us. And next to that, 
we are going to um, do something else once I build this road and it can actually think about that. Do, 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 do. There we go. And the woodcutter. That's what we were going to build next to that. Woodcutter is going to go right here. This is a little bit, uh, this is similar to uh, if you use the uh, Banished Wiki. Uh, and I highly recommend you do if you're going to play this game to at least go through the Banished Wiki. Uh, it's like required reading almost. Um, not all of it's accurate, but it's a very, very, very good resource. I highly recommend it. Um, I'm going to build a storage barn south of here. By the way, the woodcutter I just set out, it's going to cut logs into firewood for us for our villagers. Uh, we're going to have a storage barn here, which is going to store our food and other essentials for uh, villagers. Everything, Basically everything that's not wood, um, wood, stone, coal, or iron will go into the uh, storage barn there. Next, we're going to have the uh, stockpile. We're going to put that right about here. It's going to be 10 by 6. And that's just so it fits nice and neatly and snugly next to that uh, next to that storage barn. And we're going to extend this to the edge of that stockpile. I don't really need to encircle it, so I'm just going to take it to the end. And we're going to have the houses down here. We're going to go ahead and lay out five houses. I think that'll be appropriate for our current population. Three, four, and five. And let's go ahead and put the road to the end of that house. You'll notice when I when I when I lay out a road, I can move it down. And once I have that green there, just like that, it tells me there's the corner of my house. And so I'll just take it up and take it over a notch. And that's the edge of the house. And that's how I can line things up really easily and quickly. Uh, considering I can't see the buildings yet, I'm going to go ahead and pause these. But since I can't see the buildings, uh, having that road having those roads line everything up for me very helpful and just makes everything faster that stockpile I can't pause I'm pausing all these buildings because I don't want them to build until I actually have the materials for them to build the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna clear off that stockpile right there and they're gonna start laying out stone and wood and things that they collect in that stockpile and then as I get enough in the stockpile to build a building I'm gonna unpause that building common mistake people make is they'll lay down a building to be built with not enough materials to make that building and so as materials become available laborers will pick up one like one log and take it over there and then they'll see another log and they'll, they'll pick up that one log and take it over there and they'll just keep streaming it to it and, and it's a real big killer of productivity so you, you kind of want to avoid that uh, I believe that's the layout we want but I'm also going to lay out some of the kind of early needs that we're not going to build immediately but I'm going to lay them out because I, I, I know I'm going to build them and so I want them to clear the area anyway and uh, I think where do I want to put this guy probably right around he's gonna use leather from the hunters lodges so he can kinda go anywhere uh, extend this road out a little bit put the tailor tailor right there seems like a good idea next I'll have the blacksmith and he'll go let's see if we can fit him in here Nope. I'll put him at the other end over here. And this isn't, I don't have some kind of pre-planned layout after having that grid set up, uh, variant of the grid set up uh, done. So I just kind of, I'm just going to throw buildings around as they fit. Not pre, uh, pre-defining where everything needs to go or anything. It'll, it'll look more organic this way anyway. Uh, the other thing I need is a, I'm going to have a schoolhouse out here, and I'm also going to have a... Do, 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 what else would I have out here? Uh, my brain is gone. Okay, forget it. Uh, herbalist is also going to go out here, and I don't believe I built that yet. So we're going to go ahead and line that up right over here. Click. Road. Perfect. And the last thing we want is a pluh, schoolhouse. There we go. Schoolhouse is in this one right here, and I can plant that in kind of right in this area, and it won't fit perfectly, but it, I mean, it's it's fine. Oop. I'm going to pause all those buildings that I added there. These aren't permanent area; these aren't permanent buildings. Some of these will be moved to the market area once we get that uh, that set up, and that'll, that'll all come later. So we'll talk about that later. Um, 
We're also going to need a hunting lodge, but I'm not going to set that up because immediately upon laying that down, even if I pause it, they're going to go clear that, and that's going to waste some time. It's probably going to go down, kind of down here-ish, since this area is already cleared. Why not? When you click on a forester's lodge, you can see a little ring around them. That's the area they're going to forest. I'm going to keep that open, kind of pinned. Once you move the window, it pins it. So I can now click on other things, and it won't close my pinned Forester's Lodge window on the left. And I'm going to do that just so I can see kind of this is the area I don't want to cut down trees because it'll just make more work for the Forester's Lodge. Anywho, first thing we want to do is get enough wood so that we can actually start building those buildings. So we're going to go to the resource collection harvest trees. Some people use collect all resources in an area. I don't like to use that, and the reason is because... You know, as an example, I don't need iron this early in the game. And so I don't want them to spend time gathering iron this early in the game. I want them to focus on exactly what we need. We're going to speed it up just a little bit to speed level 2. I'm going to have them focus on the things I want them to build and the things I want them to collect. So that'll be wood, and that'll also be stone. I'm just going to collect a little bit of stone just to get them started up. They're also going to clear these areas pretty early, and that's going to generate its own... Uh, its own raw resources just from clearing this stuff off. So this looks really good. I'm happy with uh, how that layout looks. So some of them will start coming over here. They're going to split duties out a little bit. And some of them will, will gather, um, will cut down trees. Some of them will get stone and some of them will clear off these areas. I'm going to assign some builders. And I can assign pretty much as many as I want because as soon as a builder doesn't have anything to build or enough materials to build they'll turn into a laborer so i'm gonna have these guys basically flip-flopping between being builders and being laborers oh we have a very fortunate start here we had someone uh, a child turn into an adult here very quickly after i mean it was early spring right at the beginning so we're gonna get a boost to our labor force pretty pretty quickly so now the stockpile is laid out we got the wood and the stone and they're gonna just bring all the stuff that they collect around here to this area they're also going to go ahead and they're they're building this dirt road out here. Probably not the best use of their time, but it's not going to really matter a whole lot because we're going to have everything built with plenty of time to spare before winter. I'm actually going to speed this up to five times normal speed. If you click on these guys, by the way, if you never played this, if you click on these guys, uh, you can get information about what their job is, what they do, how old they are, health, everything, and what they have in their inventory. This guy's carrying around some log and some stone. So we're going to continue to let them work a little bit. And now they're going to go for their first, probably pretty soon they're going to go for their first food run. And they're going to grab some food because they'll be hungry. So the first thing we're going to do is un unpause one of these as soon as we have enough to build it. So the gatherer's hut is one of the early ones, probably the first one I want to build. It takes 30 logs and 12 stone. I have 14 stone, but only 14 logs. And so I'm going to wait for them to get to 30, and then I'm going to unpause this building. And they will get right to work on it. So I hear them I hear them cutting down all these trees. They're going to start collecting that and taking it to the stockpile. And we're at 25, 28, now we're at 31. I'm going to uncheck that. And we're going to have three builders come over, and they're going to start building that thing, which is awesome. Uh, one thing you need to do also is be sure to increase priority on your buildings. If Sometimes they'll get distracted by other things, and you want to have these buildings pretty much the highest priority. So there they come. They'll come, they'll clear off this gatherer's hut area, and then they will take anything they need to the site and then they'll start building and as soon as that foundation is laid I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to look at the Forester's Lodge I'm going to build that next in fact it looks like I'm not even have to pause the game that's going to be able to be built as soon as that foundation goes down I'll just unpause the Forester's Lodge and they'll start working on that one too So right now they're taking, they've removed all the obstacles, they're taking logs to the site, the foundation goes down, boom, goes the dynamite, and we can switch over to the Forester's Lodge. They'll come over and start cutting down that, those trees clearing the area. We want to get this whole area built out before we really do anything else. 
Gather's hut's almost done. I'm going to go ahead pretty early and throw a one gatherer on this gatherer's hut just to get him started up. Let him get a head start on the food situation. Where have all my builders gone? Oh, they went to get some food. Now they're coming back to uh, finish the gatherer's hut. Ta-da! Gatherer's hut. And we're going to have one gatherer. He's going to be able to collect uh, about a thousand food. Maybe 800-ish. Reserve of stone is low. That's because we just started collecting it. In fact, I do want to specify more stone before I get ahead of myself. Go ahead and grab some from outside. Because there doesn't seem to be a lot of stone in this area. Sometimes you start out and there's just stone everywhere. Sometimes you start out and there's no stone. And same thing for all the other resources. Sometimes you can't find iron. Sometimes you can't find, you know, trees nearby. It, it's kind of a kind of all over the place but that's actually part of the fun I'm gonna open up this wood cutter because we should have enough almost enough stone there we go perfect enough stone to clear off this wood cutter get him built the next thing on the docket is gonna be the storage barn because we want that gatherer to be able to store all the food he's finding and waiting for that foundation to go down Oh, we need a forester assigned. Let me go ahead and assign that. One forester. And he's just going to replant all the trees in the area. I'm going to turn his cutting off. So he's not allowed to cut. He's only allowed to plant right now. He'll plant any trees in this little circle of influence that don't already exist. We have a ton of iron down here. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll wait on that. Don't want to get too far ahead of myself. That's being built. Foundations laid. We need 16 stone. We have it. We have enough logs. They can work on the storage barn now. After the storage barn, I think we're going to go after... Hmm. Maybe the houses. Maybe that, that would be the appropriate time to get the houses up. I'm going to bump up the... Oh, not the foresters. The gatherers all the way to four. Because we are ahead of schedule of where I wanted to be by this time. And I feel good about it. Want to make sure we have enough enough food to go around. And we're going to have enough wood. Everything's going to be fine. I'm unchecking too many houses. There we go. That's the right number of houses. No, no, we can take it. I'm, I misread those numbers. There we go. That should be enough. They'll clear off all this area. They won't have enough. There's not enough builders to really get this done, but it'll let them get done gradually. Once we have all the houses built, it probably is going to be an appropriate time to get the uh, the hunter's cabin set up just so he can start hunting some deer. Looks like we're going to want to clear some more trees. So I'm just going to select everything that's kind of nearby here. Looks good. And some stone is in this area. We'll grab that as well. We got plenty of iron, I noticed, all around here, and that'll that'll be great for when we get our blacksmith up. He'll be able to build all his tools very quickly. In fact, we got enough in stockpile for him to get started once we have, have him built. I like to build a blacksmith really early because their their tools on on this difficulty and everything, their tools start wearing out after the first year, and then there's not a whole lot in the stockpile to to I mean in the uh, storage barn to replenish. Same thing with the coats. I try to get the tailor and the hunter's cabin up so we can keep them in clothes. <laughs> so based on where everything is so far, probably going to build and yeah, we can build them here, but he's not going to be able to get at anything across the river. And we can't really, we don't really, can't really put, spend time trying to make it a bridge across the river right now. We really need to focus on what we're doing. So I'm going to just build a hunter's cabin right here. It's not going to be an ideal location because pretty soon there's going to be a lot of foot traffic in this direction. But it'll at least give us some leather. And then I'll build more around, like maybe up here, if we can get over to it. We'll have to see. We kind of got ourselves a little bit to a corner here, but it's going to work out. We have enough for this house as well, so I'll just go ahead and uncheck that. 
cabin is also ready, and they'll start work on that and the road. You know, food looks good. Uh, need a little more labor to get this, uh, get these houses finished. Builders, go ahead and prioritize these houses. foundation laid. Clear off this area. House going up. Next one will be over here. We want to kind of, probably by early early winter, we definitely want to have these built. I've been able to get these up by early autumn sometimes. And there's just not a whole lot of benefit to getting them up too early, so I try to just have them up by the time the, the temperature dips and it starts snowing. That seems pretty important. This will be the last one. They should focus on that. And we have enough material. Just enough material. Oh my goodness. Did we just run out of wood by just a little bit? Yes, we did. They picked it up. Are they going to have enough? Oh, just barely enough. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Alright, here's where we're going to be spread quite thin. Because we're going to build this, and by the time we build that, and then start unlocking the blacksmith and the tailor, we are going to be very behind on labor. And we're going to have to wait for children's to grow up. Thankfully, though, once the buildings are completed, we're gonna have we're not not, not gonna really need a builder for a little while. Once the uh, house tailor blacksmith over here and the schoolhouse go up in herbalist. There we go, just in time. Look at us go. What timing? What timing? The next thing we need to build is gonna be the blacksmith feels right so let's go ahead and unpause that once we have enough we have enough we don't have enough stone or enough logs so we do have to get this stuff going what are we building oh we're building the hunter's cabin aren't we not enough wood we're gonna disable those builders maybe put one builder up I don't like how low our food is right now. It's disconcerting. There we go. We got an extra, an extra laborer at some point, I think. There we go. Getting the wood. That's what I like to see. Bringing it in. Excellent. Yep, have enough. We have enough for the hunter's cabin now, so they'll get that up. It'll help out our food situation, complementing the gatherer. The nice thing about the hunter's lodge is uh, populated areas will drive deer towards the hunting cabin. So if I have a populated area here and then a populated area to the east, in theory, anything that's in that area will kind of drive deer towards the hunting cabin, which so it, it will kind of work out. The downside is that it looks like my main thoroughfare is going to go right through this area. So we're going to have to do something different. Actually, it would be ideal if we very quickly got a, uh, a bridge over to this side and set up our hunting area over here. And even resource gathering would be good over there. But I have higher priorities currently. Late winter. Once we get through to the end of winter, it'll probably be a good time to send these guys to start building this hunt cabin. And the blacksmith here would be appropriate. Our tools are kind of running, getting a little rough now. You see six tools have already been replaced, I think. There's another one, another one gone. So yeah, now is the appropriate time. Get that one up and also get that one up. 
shortly after the blacksmith is up, we're going to focus on the tailor. Taylor's going to use stuff from the hunter's cabin, which is why I'd like to get this hunter's cabin built up. Okay, we're in early spring, so temperatures are going to start coming up shortly. We got another laborer. We need a lot of them. Certainly need a lot of them. I'm going to say I want one builder on that. And I want one builder on this one. There we go, two builders. Now they'll they'll split work. One will go to one, one will go to the other. That's exactly what I want. We are in a uh, very stone, unfriendly location. So that may be a good reason why. If you look over across the river, we have a ton of stone. And so that's why it's going to be so good to get over there once we have the time. Everything seems to be going pretty smoothly other than the stone. How's our blacksmith looking? Need more iron? They're going to get iron and they're going to be just fine. How's the hunting cabin? Need more stone for the hunting cabin. They'll mine that over here. Okay, there's the foundation for the blacksmith. So once that's up, I'm going to sign a blacksmith. They'll start making tools. So hopefully no one will end up toolless in this playthrough. If we're fast enough. Gathering that stuff. Good, good. Food situation looks good. Don't even have a hunter up in our food. Just doing, doing just fine right now. We have 11 adults. That means that in one of these cabins, I believe, we're going to have an extra adult. Yep, right there. And so it would be fine, a fine thing for us to throw down another house. When they have time, you know. No, or, no rush or anything. Just, you know, as you guys have time, between all those things I'm asking you to do, go ahead and, you know, build this thing up. Blacksmith is almost done. Hunting cabin, how you doing? Good. Need logs. We have enough logs. Need stone. We have enough stone. Sort of. We're kind of splitting between the house and the cabin here, but we sort of have enough stone. Ooh, I see some stone. Give me. We're in quite a pickle when it comes to the stone here. We're going to grab that. Just anything in this area. Anything nearby. Go ahead and grab it. Yeah, grab everything near the... Oh, there's a good area. Yeah, grab everything down here. We, we need it badly. I won't even set up a... Uh, actually, I'll tell you what. I will set up a stockpile here. Just because that will make it more efficient. A couple stockpiles just so they can collect and focus on getting it there and we'll remove them when they, we want them to move it north um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because we have a storage barn and a uh, stockpile up there they can just you know, move it all up there it's mostly empty already there's our foundation for our, uh, for our hunting, hunting cabin which is perfect good timing our food is starting to dip, and so I would... I'm going to go ahead and assign two more gatherers just to just to get more, more of that food. Cabin's going to be going up right now. House is going up. Probably only need one builder on that. Next, we want the tailor. Do we have enough for the tailor? We need more stone. Who to thunk it? Stone, you say? Oh, we have tons of that. It's all down here. No problem. Reserve of tools is low. That, yes, that's why I built this blacksmith that I didn't, I didn't assign anyone to. That's exactly why I did that. So we're out of tools, but they each person has a tool. So we've just assigned a blacksmith. He'll go over there and he'll start making some tools for us. He or she. 
that hunting lodge needs to finish so we can get some food. Oh, so we did we did have some people who ended up running out of tools. Makes the building quite slow. Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and increase the builders because at least one person will have a tool. And he's taking forever on that. Is, this is why you want to always make sure you have enough tools because you see how much faster it went as soon as people with tools walked right over and just started working. One of those pe one of those uh, will now be a hunter. I'll keep one builder on board. I'm going to reduce the number of hunters in this cabin. Max is going to be one. I don't like to have more than one hunter in a cabin. And, uh, there's a two-month cooldown for every deer that is killed, and so they'll they'll just idle if one of them kills a deer. I'd rather just have one guy there and have him, you know, a little less efficient. More efficient per person, less efficient overall. Next, I want, I kind of want Herbalist, because we're going to start, you can see we're, we're down to four hearts. We're having health issues, and it'll be good to have a Herbalist be able to treat people with health, health issues by collecting herbs in the area. And there's a lot of mature trees now in the area, and uh, applying those herbs to the populace. We also need this tailor, because we're running out of coats. We have enough materials. Yes, we do. And the schoolhouse will be as soon as those two get up. The schoolhouse will be next, and they'll start educating all the, educating all the kids. Let's take this iron, because we will need iron for tools. And it's in the way. We can't grow any trees when there's iron around. So any iron in this area, we're going to get rid of. We want this circle to be the circle with the Forester's Lodge. We want it to be pure iron and stone-free. Pure pure uh, trees in this area. We can go ahead and grab this iron while we're, while we're up here. That'll be fine. There we go. Foundation's down on this one. As you can see, our blacksmith, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, our blacksmith has already made 15 tools. So there, we're, we're, we've recovered from our tool shortage. This up arrow on the woodcutter, by the way, means that we've hit our production limit. We've limited ourselves to 200 fuel. And that's where we want to be right now because we are definitely, definitely out of logs. That's for certain. I'm going to take, take some logs from the outskirts there. Maybe take some from this area. Uh, hunting cabins do not need trees around them as, as you would think they would need trees around them so I'm gonna remove any resources around the hunting cabins because they are all fair game I'm gonna as these stockpiles get get finished I'm gonna remove them and they're gonna take the materials in bulk up north and then I'm gonna rebuild them in other areas so that they can still have stockpiles available to them. So this is the reason I'm doing the deconstruction thing is it forces them to take the material north. So I'm gonna have them put anything else into this new stockpile right to the south of it. So that's good. Everything else looks good down here. No complaints. You guys are doing a good job. Oh, we got a tailor. We can throw a tailor on the tailor. He'll start making us some clothes right on time. We have one coat left. Soon we'll have more. I want one herbalist. I'm going to get rid of some of our builders because we don't need them right now. And make one herbalist. So in the top left-hand corner, you can see how thinly we're stretched. We have one laborer, one builder. One hunter, one woodcutter, one forester, one herbalist, one blacksmith, one tailor. The only thing we have more than one of on uh, assigned is gatherer, and that's because the last thing you want to do is run out of food in this game. You run out of food for a minute, and it can be disastrous. So I would much rather have too much food and not enough everything else than not enough food and too much everything else. Because we only have one laborer and one builder. This is going to take a long time to gather. The builder is going to act as a laborer because we don't have any builders to anything for the builders to do. And any of these other buildings that end up with nothing to do will also become laborers. 
We are really short on logs. I'm going to take whatever's up here. Anything up here, I'm going to remove outside the circle or in somewhat in the circle even. And they'll just haul it south. We'll clear off that, that peninsula. Take these. So yeah, great. Awesome. Now we just have to wait for kids to grow up. Become laborers. We kind of need the laborers right now, so I'm not going to build the... I'm not going to unpause the schoolhouse until we get our log situation sorted out. Everybody's in, in, in the ho housed appropriately. We have 12 adults and 6 houses, which means 2 adults to each house, and we have a, you know, a, a procreating society. This is a nice settlement now. This is probably going to be the maximum footprint I want this town to have. I don't want to build too much more than this. We may build a couple more houses. Maybe. I'm going to I am going to wrap the uh wrap the buildings in a nice road system. But other than that, not really going to worry too much. Won't be, there won't be too much more built in this in this town. I'm gonna leave room for more houses down this way if we need them. Oh my goodness! I just looked at the time. Um, so we have a we have a nice settlement that's already ready to go. It is we are well 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 over time. And so I'm going to go ahead and break it here. Uh, if you, I'm going to take a break here. So if you liked, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. It really does help us out a lot. Have a good one, and we will see you next time.